Fishy friends, welcome here at Bar's Fish Tales for another Fishy Friday and today another recipe out of my new book, Veggies and Fish. I'm going to cook you, I'm going to show you how to make a quick and easy to make Thai salad with squid. So we start making this crunchy salad and a salad needs a dressing. So that's step number one. So I finally chop one garlic clove. Well, this is a small clove, so I'm using the whole one. Finally, finally chop, add these into a bowl. Next, to spice it up, chili. Fresh chili, I'm using half of it. Cut it lengthwise, take out the seeds. And I cut these also in little tiny cubes. Cut it fine, really fine. Now I add the juice of one lime. Now one and a half tablespoon fish sauce, and then I will add like one teaspoon of sugar to give it a bit of sweetness and to balance the dressing. And I give this a good mix. I have this in the fridge. So next step, squid. Uh, I've got some defrosted here, but if you can uh, catch some fresh ones, do it. Uh, both will be fine. But we give these squid, before we're going to pan fry them, some flavor. We're going to rub them in with a lovely marinade. Pestle and mortar, one garlic clove. Peel it, roughly chop it. Good, okay, next step is the ginger. So I'm using like two centimeters of fresh ginger. I love ginger. So a lovely piece of peeled ginger. Cut it roughly again and add it together with the garlic. Okay, one teaspoon of chili powder, good pinch of salt. Give this first squeeze. Now add like five, six tablespoons of vegetable oil. I'm using rapeseed, canola. Now mix this really well. Squid is there. And I have the squid in this bowl and I add the marinade to it. Mix this well. I'll have it in the fridge for 20, 30 minutes so it really gets infused. Meanwhile, we're going to create the salad. Half a cucumber, cut it lengthwise in half. Take out the seeds. Cut them any how you like. I like them in strips. That's the first ingredient. Cabbage. This is ox heart cabbage, but you can use Chinese cabbage. And take out this hard piece. With the cucumber. One red onion, and then thinly slice it. Add it to the cabbage. Scallions, just slice them roughly. It would do really fine. Great. Bit of coriander. Finely chop and chili. Already looks amazing. All these colors, some freshness. But we're going to add the hero to it, the seafood hero today, which is the squid. And some peanuts, some coriander, and a dressing. Okay, next step, we're going to add the squid. We're going to pan fry the squid. We do it short and quick. That's the only way how you can uh, avoid that it's gonna be a bit having this rubber texture. Well, unless you're going to really slowly cook it, but then it's a really long time. So the trick is with squid, very short on high temperature or long on a low temperature. We do it the first way. So my pan is on high heat. Squid is here. Get rid of the excess oil. You will see they, they, they will shrink. Don't worry, that's happening all the time, especially when you have defrosted. But the quality could be as as good also, I will pan fry the tentacles. They have a great, great flavor too. Okay. So, and the squid. I cool them down. I cut them in smaller pieces. Okay, so we have the salad. We have the squid, we have the dressing. We've got a bowl right here. So, actually this salad has been made for two persons. I add the squid to it good amount of dressing, maybe two tablespoons and a bit. 
Next is well. Okay, Sela, beautiful. All these colors. Amazing. Some peanuts. Roughly chopped the peanuts. Lovely. And now we finish off a bit of extra coriander. Time for a taste. Squid, veggies. Mmm. Mm. Really good. Crunchy, fresh, a bit spicy, and then this tender, tender squid. Amazing. Great as a lunch, great as dinner or a snack. Well, guys, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, any comments, leave them down in the box below. And hope to see you soon on another Fishy Friday.